sent you. Sintrian? That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered a man for this cape. That's what they said, that we were working for the Sintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. This Sintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. The port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Sintrian accent. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Sintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. Kaviri Orchid, let's look for it. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Sintrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sintrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment table. Hi guys, welcome back for another video of The Witcher 3. Blood and Wine. Sunbeam flittering across the firmament of my life. held the flask of perfume, a gift from the Cynthian, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him at once. As I said, only Mandragora artists allowed. Nothing I can do. Come. We must consider what to do. I... I'd recognize that voice anywhere. You 
You must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh. Not so loud. We are here incognito. On state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Looking for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He... He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get up, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. stains. Jewelry box. Locks busted. Picked open, probably. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Precious stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. Scon 
Once is bent, smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Hunting knife, richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrion must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. 
Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights, though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. Like and subscribe to Demigod's channel. See you on the next video. Have a good one.